We gotta find Do yeah, I think Google is uh, really taking advantage of a lot of people, and I think that's a very serious thing, and it's a very serious charge. I think what Google and what others are doing, if you look at what's going on at Twitter, if you look at what's going on in Facebook, uh, they better be careful because you're, you can't do that to people. You can't do it. We have tremendous — we have literally thousands and thousands of complaints coming in, and you just can't do that. So I think that Google and Twitter and Facebook, they're really treading on very, very troubled territory, and they have to be careful. It's not fair to large portions of the population. Okay? Thank you very much, everybody. Well, good evening to you, chat. Hopefully you're having a, a nice week. I had an interesting evening. There's a mystery afoot. I'm gonna have to get the mystery machine and the gang together to go find out if it was old man Jenkins down at the fucking mill. A few things happened in uh, sort of quick su er, succession, so I will uh, get into that in a second. But uh, yeah, we, we've got a mystery on our hands. There's a 
there's a puzzle that needs to be solved. Who is ass mad enough? Who is so platinum mad on the internet that they they want to make me go extinct? They're just gonna they're just gonna take me down a peg. Well, this all started with um, <laughs> with Twitter, which isn't surprising because Twitter is the platform where if you sneeze at somebody the wrong way, you're going to be banned for harassment. And lo and behold, my Twitter account is suspended. Oh well, go make another one. That's that's usually what you do when it comes to Twitter. There's been a bit of a, a purge as of late, so not too out of the ordinary. Not not too suspicious, I suppose. But things really started to pick up when after the Twitter ban, all of a sudden, YouTube goes down. Late, late last night, uh, my YouTube channel was terminated. I had received two strikes. Now, I, I had received one strike. That would make number two. And the account was completely terminated. Now, what was really bizarre about this was the second strike isn't what gets your channel terminated. Usually on YouTube, you have a three strikes and you're out policy. Uh, for whatever reason, one more strike. I got two strikes. Channel gets taken down. Absolutely eliminated. Pulled down. Even more than that, trying to get into the account to file an appeal, I couldn't do it. So I was locked out of the account. It was completely shut down. All because I had made a video, uh, or what I suspect was the video about a, a shooter that couldn't handle losing at video games. The flag that I had received for that video was for spam and deceptive practices. And yet the message I received from YouTube that you can see displayed on screen, what people saw when they tried to go and look at the channel was, this account has been terminated due to multiple or severe violations of YouTube's policy, prohibiting content designed to harass, bully, or threaten. I guess I went I went a little too far. I made fun of a pussy that couldn't handle losing in a video game. How dare how dare I make fun of a mass murderer? How how dare I attempted I, I, you know he was he was going for a high score. How dare I make fun of somebody that uh, couldn't handle banter and brought a gun to a fucking Madden competition? Oh, his poor feelings. How will he ever recover? Oh, wait, he's dead. I don't think he's very much bothered by my video critiquing his bullshit. He's in the ground. He's, he's a little bit cold. He's six feet under. But the, uh, the account got taken down. Even more than that, uh, <laughs> I'd say within about 20 minutes of that, the Facebook that I use, I got locked out of it. I'm locked out of it for three days. So all in one day span, Twitter goes down, YouTube goes down, Facebook gets locked. Account after account after account. Just getting getting pinged. So somebody out there is giving it their best go at uh, removing me from the internet. But who's who's doing it? Who could be behind this mystery? That's what we're going to try to puzzle out today. I've got a, a list of suspects. And we're going to go over the, the pros and the cons of what makes them suspicious. Now there are a lot of communities that I've interacted with over the years. A lot of videos that I've made. Uh, taking cracks at people. But here's what I can tell you. Uh, it wasn't DeviantArt. I made 10, 11 videos making fun of DeviantArt. Uh, all the different communities on DeviantArt never got uh, my accounts flagged down. So as spastic as those people are, they didn't do it. I made a bunch of videos about Tumblr. Tumblrisms, seven, eight of them. Never got my accounts targeted like this. They didn't do it. It's very bizarre when you look at it because all these communities you would think would be the ones that would do something like that didn't do it. Instead, <laughs> instead, well, I'll get to the suspect list in a second. Now, there are a few super chats. I'll read through those, and then we'll start going through who might have done it in our little our little game of uh, Clue or, <laughs> to figure out uh, who's angry enough to do something like this because there is anger behind the motivation. Give me a second to pull this up here. Hopefully it doesn't crash my fucking stream. You know what, while I'm pulling this up, I'll, I'll just go over, uh, I guess, the end result of what happened. So uh, the channel gets pulled down, it gets the strikes, uh, Facebook gets locked, Twitter gets pulled. And then last night on the kill stream, uh, Keemstar happened to be in the audience watching it. He watches Ralph a lot and uh, heard about what was going on and said that he was going to contact somebody at YouTube and have him look into it. Uh, this is like at midnight, right? This is like one in the morning or something like that. Well, I don't know who he talked to. Uh, but within three hours, the account was back up and operational, and the strikes were removed. So whoever he talked to took a look at the videos, and you know, it came to the conclusion, which I think is the right conclusion, that they're not violating anything. The videos aren't a violation of the terms of service of the platform. 
That's very bizarre what happened, but I just want to throw that out there. Thank you, Keemstar, for getting my account unfucked. It was uh, very kind of you. All right, let's see here. We've got Energy's X. Uh, what is your <laughs> what is your ethnicity? English, Italian, or French? Uh, it's 100% Ashkenazi Jew. <laughs> Oy vey. Real party kid. Uh, not, nothing on that one, but thanks for the super chat. Blood Toker, 1488. Big Chad Daddy. Looks like a little Star of David. I'm going to guess that's what that emoticon is. Uh, thank you, my brother. Digital VHS. How could this happen? You don't have any enemies. I know, I am the, the nicest, purest person on the internet. Who could ever be angry enough at me to do something like this? Well, we've got a list of suspects, so we will go over that. Uh, Gutsy with the emoticon of what I'm guessing is a ski or a boat. Jack Orlov. We all know you flagged yourself, you little rascal. Don't lie to us, Jim. It's all part of the it's all part of the 24-hour ops, isn't it, Jack? Sean Turner, Red Dead Bandito and his lead hackers did this. Maybe Ross has come for his revenge. Three bathtub videos was just one too many. And Red Dead Bandito and Nuclear Gamer have, have come back from the ashes of history to teach me a lesson. Sean Turner, or, uh, Cathcat. Is his new video Matt laughs about you being banned and says, I didn't do it, ah, ha ha ha. As if we have reason to believe him after lying to our faces, but I still think it was the furries. Well, I, we will take a look at Matt's video. I didn't know Matt put a video out. We'll, we'll take a look at it. Uh, he is on the suspect list when we get to him. Mark Christian did it. Christian uh, changing his image. It's going in hard on people. Ink penification. Thank you. Uh, the Tom God, I bet you're shutting down your own channel and you actually reported yourself. Another another going for the, the op master. Cathcat, I think it was the furries. They have done this to other uh, YouTubers who mock them. They have a private group and plan this shit. Godspeed, Jim. Saduru, Juan, but not forgotten. White, it doesn't matter who they are. What matters is if they're Jewish or not. Trolita, Hitler did nothing wrong. The orange cow, only if Venus isn't effeminate. The Australian patriarchy, Jade slipped her chains and shut it down. Maybe this was her way of getting me off the internet. You might be correct. Maybe I, me complaining about her inability to cook tacos was just too much for the girl. And she decided to enact her revenge one night when I wasn't paying attention. Super Hans, is trap music gay? Probably. But it fit with the theme. <laughs> I was going for something related to Blue's Clues, so that worked pretty well. Nathaniel Esposito, archive it. Definitely Lex. I agree that it was a stepfather. Kick V. Is V in the audience? I don't know. I'm not paying attention to what V is saying at the moment if he's there. Super Hans, it was Sargon. I'm calling it. The Orange Cow, Jim, are you Nightmind? Uh, no, I am not Nightmind. Spunky Platypus, you ever buy a Super Chat just to flex on poor niggers? Put a little dash in there. Protecting himself. Hands Handsome, how spicy is Jade? Well, she is my favorite flavor of pie. Point curation, couple of bucks for you, bucko. Stop, uh, Litzman, play Imato Paradise or you're gay. Uh, I don't know if I can stream that on YouTube. Uh, just two more here and then we're going to get to our suspect list. Delante West, mundane, uh, mundane Trout did it. Keemstar is a saint. I fucked Jade Slant Pussy before you did. 1488, fuck all the niggers. Putting out, uh, putting out some messages there, Delante. But uh, Jade is taken. And finally, the last uh, super chat, Puppet, pa or Puppet Pal Clem. Any response to Sargon's video on the matter? Here's 10 bucks either way, because you is one entertaining nibba. I haven't watched Sargon's response on it, so I wouldn't know. Now, the only one I saw earlier today was Sticks, uh, which he put something up. And then I think Stefan Molyneux talked about the Twitter getting banned, and Nick Fuentes did as well. Uh, but aside from those, those three guys, I haven't really been clued into it. So let's let's begin this with our suspect lineup. Who who would be our first group of suspects? Th this is my thinking on this. It has to be something recent or something controversial. Can't be something from just years ago. Wouldn't make sense. Can't be some series of videos or a group that would have been affected years ago. Why why would they choose now? Why wouldn't they've done it right then? They wouldn't, of course. So the first on the list, our suspect number one. The furry fandom. Now, I had put out a video called Cyber Yif 77 making fun of the people that were getting hypersensitive, getting very, very upset about a joke that the developers had made. Uh, it was a very basic joke. It wasn't really that offensive. It was, did you assume our gender? 
meant in jest. It was a playful little jab with somebody that was making a little joke of their own. It was a we have this mindset, right, where we want developers to interact with us, where we want to be able to talk to them, uh, regardless, or, you know, regardless of whatever the platform is. So when you finally have a developer that's willing to shit, you know, shit around, banter back and forth, and talk and engage with you, it really sucks to see a group of people come in and fuck that up, because they're going to be gun shy the next time. So you've got, you know, a, a rare select amount of them that will do this, and they're just joking back and forth with somebody that's that's tweeting at them, and the these people get very upset. Now, who are these people? You know, I probably should have put a slash on this, but I'll get to that in a second. It, uh, a majority of them, were furry other kin. You could go to their profile, you could see the he, she, they, them, their, it pronouns listed proudly. Uh, their headmates were listed. I, I swear to God, one of them had headmates listed and had like a link to a fundraiser to raise money for the rent for their headmates. I don't know how that works, but they found a way to pull it off. They, they found a way to work the system on that particular issue. Uh, yeah, I'd said in the video, and I stand by it, that the more easily offended somebody is at a banal joke on the internet, the more likely their bio on social media is full of batshit crazy stuff. And that pretty much held true to the people getting offended by the tweet put out by the cyberpunk developers. Now, that, uh, again, in a large part was people in the furry fandom. The other portion of that would be Reset Era. Now, Reset Era, <laughs> they had a thread about this. I, I should give some background on this so you guys can understand. NeoGAF used to be known as the biggest hug box on the internet when it came to talking about video games. But their admin, I think it's Evil Lore, I can't remember off the top of my head, some stuff he had done and said and was known about years and years ago came out. And this is about a year or two ago. And his forum went, H, or went ape shit. Now, he had facilitated this, right? He had grown this kind of culture on his board where people could be hypersensitive and easily offended. And it finally came in on him. All these people he'd raised up to be like these SJWs, these really far-leaning leftists, uh, you know, hypersensitive people that couldn't take a fucking joke. You know, he had let that grow and grow and grow, and it metastasized. It turned into this large, disgusting, tumorous, cancer-filled growth on the website. And they finally set their sights on him. And it created a mini shitstorm that lasted for a couple of days. The end result of that was all these people leaving NeoGAF. So the most hypersensitive people from NeoGAF, the ones that really made the website hell to use, decided they were going to get together and make their own forum. And they were going to call it Reset Era. So they made the ultimate hug box, like the, the elite version of a hug box. Like this is Hug Box Pro. This is Hug Box X, right? And they had a thread about this. And all Reset Era really is when you go to browse it is who can virtue signal the most and who is the most progressive. And if you step out of line even a fucking little bit, you're, you're thrown to the wolves. So they had a thread about the devs. They had a thread about the controversy. And they banned 100 people in one day. Reset Era banned 100 people of the most hypersensitive people from NeoGAF, the most PC liberals you can imagine, got banned on the most PC liberal hug box you can imagine for not being uh, progressive enough. 100 counts get nuked because people are like, well, it's just a joke. Why are you so upset? In fact, you know, if, if I can find this, let me see if I can find this because I'm, I'm fairly certain I posted this. If I can find the image, I'm going to throw it up on screen just to give you an idea of the kind of people I'm talking about and why I would suspect that it could be the furry fandom slash reset era. Because when you see the ban reasonings, well, two things are going to happen. One, you're probably going to agree that it would make them a likely suspect. But two, you're probably going to want to go to the forum and see how quickly you can get banned. And I'm going to guess within 10 seconds. Uh, they don't they don't handle jokes very well over there. It's not, uh, it's, <laughs> it's not their thing. Uh, give me a second here. I'm just trying to pull it up. Uh, no, it's not going to want to do it, is it? Sorry for the delay. I probably should have had this picture ready, but I wasn't really planning on showing it. Oh, let me see. One second here. I would just pull it off my Twitter, but yeah. Oh, oops. Twitter's gone. Twitter has been fucking brutally murdered.
nobody's seen nobody's seen my Twitter. He's lying in a ditch dead somewhere. It's a very sad story. Okay, fuck, here we are. Oh my god, this is painfully slow. I'm going to have to pull this up from Facebook. And hopefully it comes through good enough. Let me see if I can put this on screen so you guys can see it here. Display capture. Uh, no, I want window capture, I think. Is that going to do it? Yep. Yeah. I just got to get rid of the suspect list. I want you to take this as a picture of the captured bans that happened on Reset Era in relation to the cyberpunk devs and their statement. Let's just take a look at some of these and you tell me if they come across as insane because they, they are insane. Uh, here, here's the ban list. Users permanently banned for downplaying transphobia, compla or conflating bigotry with dissent, transphobic trolling, equating rules against bigotry with book burnings, community hive mind trolling. How do you, how do you community hive mind troll? What does that even mean? Are they saying that there's a, a community outside of Reset Era that's hive mind in their thinking and they're coming to troll? Or are they actually saying that you're trolling the hive mind that is Reset Era? Downplaying concerns of LGBT people. Downplaying transphobic rhetoric. Inflammatory drive-by. Dismissing the harm transphobic behavior. Downplaying transphobia. History of dismissive drive-by posts. Dismissing minority concerns. Downplaying transphobia. Victim blaming. Trolling, peddling disinformation, transphobic trolling again, using terminology meant to ridicule concern regarding social issues, downplaying minority concerns. And this is my favorite, because I think this is the most honest ban I've ever seen on the internet in the fucking history of mankind. User banned for one month, trolling a sensitive thread, prior history of infractions. They, they outright stated Trolling a sensitive thread full of sensitive people on a sensitive website. Why are you so insensitive? This is Reset Era. How dare you come here with your inflammatory drive-by postings of transphobia? Don't you know we're sensitive? Don't you understand that Reset Era is a sensitive website? Oh, oh, this is shameful. What are you doing? Just take a look, chat. Take a look. This is what NeoGAF got rid of. I know, like, uh, you know, NeoGAF has a hell of a reputation, and a lot of it's rightly deserved. But this? This is the cancer that had attached itself to NeoGAF and went to form its own website. This is Reset Era. This is what they excised. This is what uh, Evilor, or whoever, uh, cut out of his body to save himself. Hive mind community trolling. Trolling a sensitive uh, fucking thread. Equating rules against bigotry with book burnings. How, how does that post even work? <laughs> what, is, what the fuck does that even mean? Hey, just there we go. Go back. Let me pull the suspect list back up. So, you can see why I would suspect it. Uh, the video went up about a week, a uh, week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And uh, people on Twitter were very upset. There were a few key people that were very mad some of whom were highlighted in the video, some of whom aren't just part of the furry fandom, but are a part of Reset Era. Uh, that's why I put the little disclaimer about DeviantArts at the beginning, because, well, a lot of the communities that got uh, made fun of there, a lot of the ones that were uh, mocked were furry communities, and they didn't freak out. Uh, in fact, surprisingly, a lot of the people on DeviantArt drew fan art because they, they thought it was funny. So uh, you, you can take it as you will, but that would be suspect number one. A weird combination, a these super, super hypersensitive fucks that are like a cross mixture. It's like a hybrid, a chimera of pussydom, of reset era and the furry fandom. Maybe they decided they were going to take me down a notch. They're going to yiff my ass into the gutter. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But that is suspect number one. A lot of people, I'm, I'm reading chat, a lot of people are talking about... Uh, <laughs> they believe it was a furry fandom. Again, I have no concrete proof. I couldn't tell you one way or the other. I'm just doing a stream where we're going to try to puzzle it out and talk about who might be the most likely scenario. 
Uh, out of the, the three main suspects that I have, I would rank this the lowest. But I still wanted to include it because the timing of it and everything else. But if I had a scale of who was most likely to least likely, I would put these as least likely. Nonetheless, there you go. Got a few, a few more super chats. I'll, I'll roll through some of these and we'll move on to suspect number two. We'll get to the next, the next group of just amazing individuals. Acid Magma, you going to create a new Twitter, Jim? Uh, no, you see, when you're banned on Twitter, you can't make a new account. Uh, now, the account that I was banned on was made in 2016. So if I made a new account after 2016, well, I'd get banned right away for ban evasion, right? Now, on the other hand, my good friend, a very good pal of mine, Mr. Anti-Bully, uh, he's had an account from 2011, so clearly that couldn't be me. I couldn't have made that account. That couldn't be my account. But if you want uh, hot banter, uh, feel free to go check out Mr. Anti-Bully on Twitter. Clarice Green. Jade got you banned because she wanted you to spend more time up at her sideways <laughs> up at her sideways gook guts. I will have to ask her about that when I let her out of the cage. Definitely Lex. Take these shekels to buy a better cage for your Cambodian so this doesn't happen again. See how many tacos you get for reading that out loud. Probably a lot. She hates Cambodians. I, I've said this before, but she's been banned on social media. You know, it, it's it's weird, but Asians are probably the most racist people on Earth, uh, and they're the most racist towards other Asians. If, if you ask somebody, it doesn't even matter what country they're from. Every other group of Asians that exist are just subhuman to them. And she, she's no different. She hates other Asians. Extort, uh, 1220, they can't stop Jimbo. Still burning studios, my votes for the ghost of Randy Stair recruiting Jim's Twitter to, sp uh, to the squad. Uh, maybe I'm a ghost girl now. Maybe that's what uh, I've become. Aliens land and spread the gospel of Glebe Glork. Did you see Frederick Knutson's video about the Final Fantasy house? Is joining a religious, a religion, where you believe that you're a reincarnated video game character even sadder than furry otherkins? I'm actually, I was familiar with the Final Fantasy house before his video, but... Uh, you're talking about Down the Rabbit Hole as a series. Great shit. Uh, he makes really, really good videos. Uh, very solid videos. It was a good video. I have watched most of his stuff. Yeah, I did see that. IWPOE, Godspeed, Jim. Abardos 10, KSI, and the Paul Logan are uh, fa.ggs. I'm going to guess I know what you were going for there, but you've broken up the spelling of it. See Alex Matos, just throwing some change in the hat. Blue Satoshi, we're all winners, thanks to the Totino's Pizza Rolls, making me promote companies. Balcora, been watching your channel content for a while, thanks for the hours of entertainment, I'm glad you like it. Joe Scott, you're going to have to get a Scooby-Doo, he can help play Who Done It. Yeah, I am going to have to get a Scooby-Doo to figure out the mystery of this. Uh, we'll go through a few more here, and then I'll, I'll get back to the ones I missed too as well, I don't want to don't wanna take too much time in between our suspect list. Nuclear Lion, I'm a furry who is sick of all these crazy political fanatical furries. They are huge lol cows, and any videos on them will warm my heart and make my day. Make furries apolitical again? Uh, there is definitely a subsect out there that is just obnoxious as fuck. I have actually heard that opinion from many people that self-identify as furries. Overseer USA, you may not believe it, but I believe God put you on this earth to bring crazy shit online into the light and verbally bury it. Keep up the good work. Uh, well... <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if God really needed videos on pant shitting diaper furs, but uh, I, I'm his guy. If he does, James Russell snitches get stitches. The shocker. Did you see a real Antifa account was saying you got banned because you made a video celebrating the shooting? Shoe on head corrected them, and they called her a white supremacist. Uh, no, I did not see that. Uh, I don't know how the video would be celebrating a shooting. It's on my channel right now. You can go watch it and make your own mind up. But it was basically shitting on this guy for not being able to handle competition and saying that maybe the the takeaway message from this was he's a giant pussy that should be mocked uh, for being a little bitch that can't handle losing in Madden. Uh, everybody gets their ass kicked in video games. Uh, nobody's that great. I, I get my shit kicked in all the time. I love playing first-person shooters and fighting games. I am not the best at them. And, ah, oh, I get my ass kicked, and I get shit-talked, and it is infuriating. There's nothing worse than getting your, your fucking face rubbed in it, and then having somebody just shit on you for it. But that's part of the fun, and that, that's part of what gaming is. So this, this little outlier, this little sped, 
that couldn't handle that and decided to use a fucking gun because he lost a football, a digital football match. Fuck him. Uh, Prond. Jim, how closely related was this uh, to the Twitter trolling as a witness during Jacksonville's shooting? Was that considered some fake news toss violation? Uh, no, I, I don't believe so. Uh, the reporter in that instance tried to contact me after the Jack or after the Jacksonville shooting. Uh, somebody, uh, there was a tweet chain, and she thought that I was a witness, and it was like DM me, uh, which I didn't do. She wanted me to DM her. I didn't DM her. I just tweeted back at her something obviously over the top to highlight the fact that she's an idiot. Uh, but you'll see that a lot. Uh, reporters are fucking vultures. They like to go to a tragedy, and they want to be the first one there. And they will do anything to get that story. And I know, you know, part of the news cycle is trying to get news out as quickly as you can. But a lot of these people have no no sense of just basic human decency. They, they don't even want to wait for you to crawl out of the shooting, uh, you know, bleeding with bullet holes in you uh, before they're asking you to DM them with a, a hot quote for their fucking news article. Uh, you can look at the events at Jacksonville and you've got reporters like Laura Loomer who reported that Paul Danino, Ice Poseidon, was a shooter. I mean, how dumb is she? Who goes, she actually reported that Ice Poseidon was the person that shot people at a video game tournament and then tried to blame it on an intern by saying she wasn't in charge of her own Twitter account and then finally apologized for it. That's half the reason Sam Hyatt is still funny and useful as a uh, meme on social media is because they always fall for it. You'd think to yourself, there's no way they'll fall for it again. And they always fall for it. Because they're chomping at the bit. They're so hungry for that story. But we're, we're getting a little off track with that. I wouldn't give Real Party Kid your docs. I, I don't know who that is. Uh, Alan Poe 17, it was probably one of the many enemies Earthworm Jim. My guess is Psycho or Professor Monkey for a Head. Could be Evil T Cat. Uh, there, there are many out there. Who knows? Shago, uh, it doesn't matter who did it. Destroy them all. Top Autist, it was Maddox Pedophile. Fanboy Tito. Uh, I, I did see this. Somebody brought it to my attention um, about a day before the Twitter account went down. Uh, somebody was messaging me saying that somebody who was a head mod for Maddox who was closely associated with him turned out to be a convicted sex offender. And I talked to them publicly, not not the person who was the sex offender, but the person telling me about this, uh, asking for information. They were going to send me information. Uh, and then apparently this, this person, uh, the sex offender, alleged sex offender, I guess, um, bragged about the Twitter account getting suspended. Maybe they had a, a hand in the Twitter account. I, I couldn't say, but I doubt they would have a hand in the YouTube account, and I doubt they'd have a hand in the Facebook locking out. Uh, I don't think they. I don't think a convicted sex offender holds that much power when it comes to uh, billion-dollar corporations. Uh, Miss Burr, have a few Arabian pounds. Oh, thank you very much. Goaty McPimp, it was either Kraut or someone who knew about Kraut's return would lead everyone to think it was him. You have the right to know your accuser. YouTube needs to inform you. And Clarice Green, glow in the dark CA, nibbers flayed your stuff. Uh, it's always a potential. And again, I'll, I'll get back to the ones that I missed, read through them. But uh, I want to get back on to the suspect list. I don't want to get too distracted here. So suspect number one, furry fandom, reset era. Who do we have for suspect number two? Chat, do you want to take any guesses? I'll give you a second here because I know there's a bit of a delay. I'm going to go silent for a second. I'm going to grab a drink. Throw it out in the chat. Who do you think suspect number two is? Take a, take a wild guess. I'm seeing a lot of names getting thrown out there, but I'm seeing one name in particular. I'm seeing one name in particular. Are you are you all a little Nostradamuses? Are you prescient? Bunch of psychics in my chat? I'm seeing a lot of Matt knows. Does Matt know? I don't know, but he is suspect number two. The Quarry King. Jarbo the Hut. He goes by many aliases. Odin, God of Aspain, is another one that you might not be too familiar with. Good old Matt Mundane. Uh, this is the one that Keemstar thought did it. In fact, he, he all right accused him on Twitter of it. 
Uh, for those that don't know the backstory, uh, I'll, I'll try to keep it brief and then go over why I think he might have done this. Uh, I was offline for a couple of weeks, a minor, minor health thing in the hospital for a little bit. Uh, when I came back, uh, I happened to notice that uh, somebody had posted some funny stuff about Matt, about old videos he had done. One of them was called the Polly the Polar Bear video, in which Matt went through words of the day uh, in a... Uh, stereotypical hillbilly voice uh, and uh, went into some uh, racier bits of comedy with it. Uh, so I posted it. Within me posting that uh, clip, his old video, Polly the Polar Bear, within six minutes of that, Matt had pulled down the video and issued a fucking apology on Twitter. He issued a, he issued a fucking apology for a polar bear puppet video from seven years ago. I guess he was really concerned about his image because we all know Based on his social blade, he's the hot topic of the fucking internet. Now, fast forward a few hours from that happening. Uh, the Ralph Retort decides to host uh, a stream of his, the Kill Stream. He does that every night, every weeknight. And they were going to talk about Polly the Polar Bear because it was funny. I made a little video for Ralph, uh, highlighting some of the things Matt's done, and then ending on a joke about Polly the Polar Bear. Now, what you need to know is... He was streaming, I'd say, for maybe 10 or 15 minutes before the stream instantly went down. It was pulled down. I've seen a lot of streams get pulled, but it was within 10 seconds of the video ending and him starting to talk on the stream that it gets yanked down. Now, to me, that was pretty clear indication that this was mundane Matt. Ralph finds a backup stream. He goes on to talk about it, and I join him. And we're talking about who we think might have done this. Who would have pulled his, his kill stream down? Who would target him? And I flat out said, I believe it's Monday and Matt. I believe there's a lot of evidence that Monday and Matt engages in this behavior. Uh, he's targeted multiple people. Dame Pesos, uh, Godwinson. Uh, just a lot of people. Anytime you put a video up making fun of Monday and Matt, all of a sudden, really strangely, such a coincidence, it would get pulled down damn near immediately. I mean, hell, Dami Pesos didn't just get his YouTube yanked. He got his fucking Twitter pulled, too. Does that sound familiar to anybody? A couple of different accounts got pulled down because he made fun of Matt. Hmm, interesting. So we're discussing this on Ralph's second stream. And we get Monday Matt to come on. Matt spent the next hour telling everybody how innocent he was. He's such a good boy who didn't do nothing. The Quarry King couldn't possibly have flagged those videos. He couldn't have targeted the kill stream. And I, he, he was out collecting boulders. It's a normal activity everybody engages in. That was his fucking alibi. He told us that he couldn't have flagged the stream because for the last four hours he had taken his nine-month-old baby with him to collect river rocks and boulders because that's a nighttime activity that he engages in regularly. It's a really, it's a really great excuse. You know what it reminded me of? Have you ever been caught doing something and you just are stupid and can't think of something off the top of your head? Uh, when I was very young, I'd say 12, I smoked pot for the first time. And when I came home, uh, completely oblivious to the effects of pot and how it makes you look, my eyes are blazed red. Uh, my mother looks at me and says, why is your eye red? And I, you know, I was on the spot. I didn't really have a good excuse. So I said, oh, I was, I was out in the woods with some friends and we got into an acorn fight. And they hit me in the eye with an acorn. I thought this was the best fucking excuse in the world. It was so airtight. What a fucking alibi. And she sat there for a minute, kind of looking at me. She's like, you got hit in the eye with an acorn. I was like, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's really tragic. And then she, she kind of pauses and looks again and says, and the other eye? And I wasn't prepared for that question either. I was like, it was a second acorn? I got hit in both eyes with two acorns in the same fight? It's, it's astronomical odds, but I got nailed. Uh, I, of course, I got grounded for that, because who wouldn't be? I mean, it's a fucking retarded excuse, but that was Matt's excuse. He's on a stream being accused of taking down streams and videos, and his excuse is, I'm collecting fucking boulders and river rocks with my nine-month-old baby. I'd break that right up with my I got hit in the eyes with acorns story. So, for an hour, he does this. And he's got a kind of a smug demeanor, a little bit, you know, um, with the, you, you can't really prove it, right? You can't really prove that I did it, kind of thing. And about midway through the stream, about an hour, hour and a half into it, of Matt constantly denying this to all the people that are there, 
uh, Zidane, who is one of uh, the Ralph Retorts, uh, one of Ethan's co-hosts, says, hey, you know, there's a way to show your report history. Uh, and this is where Matt goes into holy fucking shit, burn it down, panic mode. Because everybody on the stream showed theirs. And they all waited. They waited and waited and waited 10 minutes, 20 minutes, damn near 30 minutes for Matt to show this. And he just wouldn't do it. He was very silent. And finally, after being pressured in front of all these people, and, you know, there there were uh, quite a few people with big channels, right? Uh, you had James Alsup on there, and um, I think he is, what, like 300,000 subs. Uh, Keemstar was popping in and out, and he's at, like, what, 4 million? So uh, he had a lot of pressure on him, and then there were thousands of viewers. So there are a lot of people watching and kind of interested in this. And Matt shows his report history. And what do you know? Monday and Matt has been flagging people nonstop that make fun of him. He flagged Dami Pesos multiple times. He flagged Andy Worski when Andy Worski made fun of him. He flagged Tonka Saw when Tonka Saw made fun of him. He made fun of Failure Hates You when Failure Hates You made fun of him. He went after clipping channels. He went after smaller channels that he would have no reason to even be aware of. Because as we found out on the stream, he had set up Google alerts to his fucking name. So if you talk shit about Monday Matt anywhere on the internet, if you go onto a forum and say Monday Matt and then say something negative, if you do it in this chat, if you do it on Twitter, if you make a video with his name in the title or the tags, he is instantly alerted to it and takes action against you. Hour of denial, and he got caught red-handed flagging all these people. And there's speculation that he altered it. He used Inspect Element. And the, the crazy thing about that is if he altered that page that he showed us when he was giving a, a screen share, it would mean that he spent 20 minutes removing his flagging history and was still left with two pages worth of flagging shit. But that's, uh, that's Matt for you. So after this happens, uh, I spend the next couple of days and I make a video. Uh, that video is the Ballad of Monday and Matt. I think it's sitting at half a million views. Now, if you go look at uh, Monday and Matt's social metrics, because uh, he's really tied into this. Don't forget, Monday and Matt's big into the internet. He wrote a fucking book about how to succeed on the internet. You can go find it on Amazon for zero dollars and nobody's buying it. I'm not, I'm not making that up. This asshole thinks he's a social media guru and he's tried time and time again to become a success and so he wrote a book about it. Uh, but he's very tied into the metrics. And he lost 13,000 subs. 13, 14,000 subs. Every single video Matt puts out there's, you know, upwards of a thousand or more dislikes on it. The comment section is nothing but people making boulder jokes or calling him a flagger or telling him just to fuck off and uh, leave the internet permanently. So Matt has a really big motivation to want to get some payback. I mean, let's look at our suspect, right? We looked at the furries, the pros and cons of that. Could have been them, or could have been them, might not have been them. I've had furries that didn't get ass blasted. I've had furries that did get ass blasted. It's kind of up in the air. Well, let's look at Matt. What do we got going here? If I hadn't have posted his video, he would never have gone on the live stream. If he had never gone on the live stream, he never would have got caught flagging. If he never got caught flagging, he wouldn't have lost 13,000 subscribers. I wouldn't have made a video on him. And all those people that make fun of him now constantly wouldn't be doing that. So he has a pretty fucking heavy motivation to be upset. Does he show this behavior in the past? Has he ever targeted somebody? Well, yes, he has. We can confirm that he does. He went after Dami Pesos and lied about it. He went after Andy and Tonka and Failure and Clipping Channels and everybody else because they made fun of him. So imagine somebody makes a video that gets half a million views shit-talking him, who uh, basically fucking ruined his career. He's got some motivation to be angry and be really, really petty about it. So that's why I'd rank him up on my list. I don't know, Chad. Am I am I crazy on this? Do you want to give me uh, you want to give me your hot take on this? Read through a few super chats here, uh, and then I'll get some uh, you know some basic feedback, and we'll take a look at a, a little bit more regarding Matt Mundane, and then move on to our next suspect. Uh, let's see, Madeline, the soy-soaked, penisless abomination in the furries joined forces, calling it now. Big lineman Monday, Matt brings dishonor and shame to Matt's around the world. Matt Fields, fraudulent flint, <laughs> fraudulent Flintstone, fraud Flintstone. I like that. That's actually not. That's not bad. Demand of stuff, Jim. I think your accounts went down because they were hit by acorns. 
a weird con <laughs> coincidence, but it seems believable. You might be right. Jareth312, the Soy Supreme Minecraft doormat out there playing eight-dimensional YouTube chess like a deep blue of autism. Uh, that's, uh, he's, he's a fat little soy-filled computer. He might be right. Charles the Hammer, it was Matt's boulder. He's a good boy. He didn't do anything, right, Charles? It was, uh, his rocks wanted revenge. They, they turned themselves into a golem, a YouTube golem, to come smite me. Timothy Reaper, if we outlaw acorns, only outlaws will have acorns. The only thing that'll stop a bad guy with an acorn is a good guy with an acorn. I'm with you on that. Matt Fields, thank the Spurgs, you're back. Adam T-O-H-C, Acorn Gate. Pufferfish, don't super chat people often, but the acorn story deserved a little love. Yet, yeah, well, kids are fucking retarded, uh, and I was a fucking retarded kid. James uh, Beanick, take this to the... Uh, take this to fight the patriarchy. Thank you. Snake56. Jim, you should look into the YouTube Trusted Flagger program and see who is in it. Might be interesting. Well, that is another thing we're actually going to talk about in a minute here. Hey man, nice shot. Mama Merkel called your bluff. Mokuju, Mama Merk or Mama Mediker. Kakuin is watching now. Also, Jim, are you caught up uh, for part five of JoJo? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to have to catch up. Uh, Gutsy, thank you. Uh, Malachor V really activates those acorns. Alan Poe 17, acorns are weapons of mass destruction. You be the judge. I didn't, uh, didn't suspect that you'd like the acorn story that much, but all right. Mobile Crusader punished Jim Mediker, a hate monger denied his social media. Brandon Hansen, aborted Mediker, we could have watched seven hour stream of bimbos getting killed. We could have harassed YouTube pedos and spurgy Jews schizos who want to shoot and his brothers, but my mom had other plans. Kojo the second, five dollars. Hilarious joke, bro. You gained a sub. Merc, check your Facebook messages. Look for the skull mask. Boy, have I got some stories for you. If they're acorn related, we'll have something in common. Uh, Tidy Mittens, Monday Matt and Dr. Randomer Cam have something in common. They both are an absolute avalanche of autism. I do not disagree. Sean Cuckery, how long will it take for you to get through these signs? You can always get Scrub to read them. He's good at 24-hour streams. Well, the ones that I miss, I will read at the end. Uh, but I want to, you know, try to limit the break so we can continue with our suspect list. Tubble Lizards, you're not even trending with this amount of viewers right now. Is this evidence of some other force at work? Tips Tinfoil Fedora. Uh, I don't know what amount of viewers I have right now. What are we sitting at? Uh, 18,000? Uh, that's, you know, that's about the number I pulled in with the outline stream and the E3 stuff. There, there are a lot of people that stream on YouTube. I'm sure there are other metrics to do it. I, you know, I'm fine with that. I don't need to be trending on YouTube. I don't really care. Um, Michael Bonifiasso, give the man his rocks back, and this can all just go away, Jim. <laughs> He's very fucked up about his rocks. Blue Satoshi, Mad Fat, or er, Mad Fats, Mad Cats is disqualified for playing Call of Duty in Madden tournament. He then tried LARPing and 360 no scoping his way to the high score, and he completely failed. By the way, couldn't get anywhere near a high score, not in the game or outside of it. Apparently, Graf von Triel, turn off that pesky ad block, John Titer. Literally twice the viewers is Chuck Uger, lol, or Chuck Uger, lol. Phoenix Fire 108. Jim, please do more Black Months Matters and Yakub videos. Those were hilarious. I, I might, I might do one more. I, I did have one group uh, that's related to those that I, I wanted to do one more video on, so I, I might do that. The chosen one, I think it was Kraut and the Soilless Mundane Matt having gay sex and collided together to take you down. I'll read. Uh, let's we'll do three more here and then we'll move on. Uh, Heike Dashi. Ross used his one call to report you to the internet police. He had to be quick because Tyrone was trying to take him back to the cell. Xenophag Uprising, you, Jade, and your dog should form a right-wing mystery hunting squad to find the culprits. Finally, Mike Thompson. Boogie2988 is going to kill himself on live stream before, 20, before 2019. Oh, poor, poor guy. Oh, I'll throw this one out because it's a slightly larger one. Uh, Marine Murphy, Jim Cars, Finite and Infinite Games. Am I saying that right? Jim Cars, C-A-R-S-E? Not 100% sure. I'm terrible with pronunciations. You should all know that because I say, uh, I say hyperbole like it's a futuristic fucking sport rather than hyperbole. That is, uh, that is my fuck up. So, yeah, so Matt has a motivation and he's shown past behavior to do that before. Uh, Matt is also, from what I understand, friends with people that are part of uh, the Trusted Flager program. 
Um, that's what people have told me. I don't know how true it is. Uh, he's got relationships with people like, I think it's Queenie Martha and others that have some relationship with YouTube. I couldn't tell you. All I know is the first flag I got, uh, the appeal was denied within like 20 minutes, which is really weird. Uh, the second flag I got, I couldn't even appeal, and it led to my channel being struck down. Uh, so I, I, I don't know what's going on with that. Whoever ended up reviewing it, whoever Keemstar talked to, obviously disagreed with the judgment and reversed it. And so I'm appreciative of that. I, I don't think my stuff really violates a lot of the terms of service on the site. Most of it's comedic. I rarely talk about politics or news events. Uh, and I'm usually slow to get to it because I'm not, I'm not trying to jump on uh, the newest shit. That's why I'll do a series like Deviants or Tumblrisms that has nothing to do with anything else. Uh, just because it's entertaining. So the Quarry King is suspect number two. Now I've got a third suspect. Uh, this third suspect, well, how do I introduce, how do I introduce him? He is, of course, the Trout Father. I'm talking about Kraut and Tea, or Kraut and Tears, if you will. Much like Monday and Matt, Kraut does have uh, potential reasons for being angry with me. I made a four-video series about his retarded gay 24-hour opping discord spurgery, uh, in which I laughed at how dumb it was. Uh, the three, uh, two of them were dedicated to things he had done before that and the organization of his discord and just the, the, the stupid shit that he was doing. Third one was related to somebody that was in the discord off and on and somebody that they kind of all knew each other uh, related to Kilroy. And, uh, you know, strangely enough, by the way, you know, Kilroy was an event it was planned by a woman that was in that Discord, and Monday Matt was a, f a speaker there, huh? Anyway, uh, and the fourth video talked about uh, the doxing allegations that were a part of the Discord and everything else that was going on in there. Now, when you talk about coincidental, or coincidental timing, Kraut disappeared off the internet after those videos went live, and he was getting a bunch of backlash. And now he's back, and I, he put up two videos. Uh, a return video, and then a video going after Coach Red Pill. And the weird thing about this, the thing that's very fucking strange about this, is that my channel went down, right? I, I, uh, I, I'm sorry. I started getting flagged about five minutes before his videos went live. So my Twitter account gets suspended, Kraut's videos go up. And then after that, my YouTube account goes down. And then after that, my Facebook account gets locked. So here we have the Trout Father making his glorious return. And the guy that made fun of him in his videos for the dumb shit that he was doing mysteriously is removed from any platform where he could make more jokes about how dumb this shit is. Really gets that noggin joggin. Really coincidental timing. Now all of Trout's little friends, like David Shitrat and all the other uh, YouTube academics, very gleefully talking shit about my accounts going down and saying how it was a tinfoil hat conspiracy, even though, you know, the weird thing would be David Shitrat saying that when he's basically on tape telling Kraut that he wasn't going to pass along information to SJWs to target people because he's not that scummy. So, David, I mean, if you were that close to it and you had Kraut asking you to pass along information to get people targeted and you refused to do that, why would this sound like a conspiracy to you? It sounds like you were a part of one to begin with. And decided to walk away from it, huh, Dave? But, I mean, maybe the hormones are affecting your fucking mind and you can't think right and the memory is failing you. I, I couldn't tell you why you'd suddenly forget about that convenient little detail. So, Trout comes back and all my shit goes down on the same day. Now, I, I think, I mean, this, this is so old. The, the Kraut and T shit. It's like six, seven months old. Uh, but he makes his return, and yeah, all this mysteriously happens on the same day. It, it really is quite the coincidence. Now, the interesting thing is, you could look at it one of two ways. Let's say Monday Matt is really pissed off and wants some revenge. Let's say Kraut is really pissed off and wants some revenge. So, Matt probably finds out that Kraut's going to release his stuff and thinks this is the perfect opportunity to take Jim down because he'll immediately believe that Kraut's the one that did it, and I'll get the heat taken off of me. Or, Kraut decides, I'm going to return now and take Jim's shit down because Monday and Matt just got caught flagging people and everybody's going to think he did it. So it's like this game of who did it, right? Like, which one of these Spurgs would have been responsible? They can shift the blame onto the other one. 
it's the perfect fucking opportunity. It's a great window that's opened up for them on who they can target, on who they can teach a lesson to. Now, you know, I guess a con in this situation would be Kraut would have to be just monumentally retarded to do something like this. He would have to know the amount of attention this would draw on him to come back and to flag shit and then get caught doing it. I mean, would he be that stupid? I mean, would he be that mentally fucking handicapped to think that that wouldn't instantly draw suspicion on him? That that timing? That very bizarre timing of that window of just 10 fucking minutes? When the account goes down and all of a sudden here come the videos talking shit about all the people that had made fun of him for the Trout and T-shirt? I, I, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, that's why this is a suspect list, isn't it? I mean, I can't... I don't have any evidence for you. I can only give you what my my ideas on what might be going on are. And as far as I see it, there are three main suspects in my mind right now. The furry phantom slash reset era because of a video that was recent and their reaction to it. Monday Matt, the quarry king, because of a video that was recent and his reaction to it. And Trout and T because he just came back and he's looking for some revenge. And that revenge was in the form of videos, but maybe that expanded into another form. You know, the we can't let Jim have his say form. I don't know. Uh, with In regards to Kraut, you know, I don't remember anything related to him flagging people. I, I know he did the shitty thing with Rage After Storm on Twitter. And I know that uh, that fucked her up a little bit and that cost her a position. But I, outside of that, I don't remember hearing anything about him flagging and shutting down accounts. So you've got your three suspects, and that's that's where we are at the moment. It's it's a it's a mystery, isn't it? Who who did it? Who done it? Who's responsible for it? I will say this though, and I've noticed this is a common theme when any individual or group of individuals decides to fuck with somebody online. They never stay quiet about it. It might be a day, it might be a week or a month or a year, but eventually they slip up. They want to brag a little bit about it. They want to talk about what hot ops they're running. They want to get a little credit for what they've done. And so they open their dumb fucking mouth. And now occasionally that'll be in private rather than public, but they get into a fight with somebody and that somebody has a screen cap or a record of that conversation and the fucking mystery is solved. I don't really need to hunt down who did this to find out why they did it or you know what the motivation was or what group was responsible because they'll bring themselves to me eventually. I'm very fine playing the waiting game. Maybe it'll be a fucking year, but eventually they're going to they're going to run their mouth and I'll find out who did it. And then I get to make fun of them. I get to make fun of their ass pain about the ass mad that they have because they can't handle a little banter on the internet. Oh my god, Jim, you're so insensitive. How could you make fun of retards? Oh, Jim, why would you make a video about that? Hypersensitive people shit up the internet so fucking much. Retards shit up the internet so fucking much. It used to be a lot more fun. You used to be able to have a lot more fun on sites like YouTube and other places because you could say whatever the fuck you wanted to say because everybody wasn't so up their own ass about not being made fun of. But now everybody's so fucking hypersensitive. They can't take a little bit of banter. They got to start uh, flagging shit down, uh, you know, deplatforming, and doing whatever they can. In regards to this, I mean, there was speculation. There's this uh, very obese lady that works on the Council for Foreign Relations. Um, you know, I, I'd love to sit here and tell you that uh, I'm I'm such hot shit that somebody in a government position decided to have a hammer dropped on me, but that that just seems a little ridiculous. And you know, I'll be honest, if somebody like that did decide to bring the thunder down on my head. Uh, Keemstar uh, isn't going to be able to reverse that. So those are my three suspects as it stands. How will the mystery play out? What clues will emerge? Who will run their mouth eventually and, and ruin it for everybody and get them all caught? I, I don't know. But it will happen eventually. They'll just, they, they won't be able to help themselves. They'll have to run to social media and be like, look, I did this. And run to Discord, look, I did this. And then I'm going to get to see what kind of fucking retard they are and have a good laugh about it. Okay. Give me give me one second here. I'm going to grab uh, one more drink, read some more super chats, talk a little bit more. 
uh, and we'll carry on. Give me one sec. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to get, like, some waiting music or something I can play when I run out of the room to grab something. So it's not just dead silence. I suppose that's horrible on a fucking stream who wants to listen to dead silence. But I'm just so half-assed in my amateur nature that I don't have that ready to go. Ethan, Ethan's got shit down. The kill stream, they've got their little musical clips and their breaks and their soundboards and shit. They've got that all locked down tight. They run that fucking ship properly. Me, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm winging it as we do this. Reading through regular chat here, a lot of people saying uh, a couple of different things. Somebody said, it couldn't be Monday Matter Kraut, it would be too obvious. A again, you're really, it's like this weird kind of Mexican standoff where they can, it's like, it's it's just a good window of opportunity to place the blame on the other, right, and get away with it. So who did it? Who Who's more likely? And there's motivation behind why they might have done it. You like Dead Silence chat? Well, I'm, I'm glad you love it. All right, let's take a look at, uh, let's see what your take is, chat. Let's uh, let's get some feedback here. Go to Super Chats. Give me a second here. Iron Mike, Kraut uploaded a third video on Sphinx. I asked Kraut in the comments, and he said that he didn't do it in the comments, but that video was taken down. Uh, the video on Sphinx was taken down? I, I saw he put up two. He put up his uh, Welcome Back video, uh, and then he put up a video on Coach Redville. I did not know he had a third video out about uh, Sphinx. Travis Andros, hey, Jimothy, you seen Angry Joe, or I like to call him a Juden Juan, spurging out about Battlefield? Yes, I did see him freaking out about that. Smug Diogenes, it was me, Jim. I'm the architect of all your pain. It looks like the mystery solved. The great Pop-Tart, I did it, it was me. I like, I'm too dumb. Can we get some more videos from you? Love your stuff. A laughing man, thank you. Dick Tuno, it was Mama K. She's come back for revenge, has she? Because I made fun of uh, her precious baby boy eating sprouts. And her driving him insane because she wanted him to film her in the bathtub. Maybe maybe this has been, you know, ten years in the waiting. Nandato, I flagged you, Jim. I did it. I hate you so much. Stop making fun of me. Please stop. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. Matthew Hoffman, Keemstar took down your accounts, came in to save the day, and used the heat to affect mundane Matt. It's beautifully played. But uh, I, I highly doubt Keem would waste his time on that. I would, I'd bet money on Matt Mundane before I went on Keemstar. Christopher Hines, Based Mama, Woz Lee, Jeff Holiday, Matt, Shit Rat, Kraut. Everyone who was in that autistic LARP Discord is a suspect. Force them to show the report history. Uh, none of them will. I, I highly doubt it. Kraut might if he's, if he's put into the position, but the others, probably not. Ryan, Jim, notice me, Senpai. Also, will we ever, or will you ever roast DSP again? The gout is strong with that one. A DSP, I don't know what the fuck that guy's deal is. He's he's like a, a, he's like some kind of super cat, right? Usually they have nine lives, he's got like 900. Every time bad luck comes his way, he somehow survives it. <laughs> you know, if he ever got AIDS, he'd probably create natural antibodies to them and give us a cure. It's just very weird how he slips out of danger. Too many accounts, the prof, or the Prophet Cthulhu did a preemptive strike on you. Uh, not familiar with that. Cynic in Chief, blast all the suspects and let Kex sort them, or sort them out? Uh, yeah, some people saying, well, do you have evidence? Do you have evidence? Uh, this isn't a fucking court of law, is it? We're on YouTube, aren't we? Oh boy, I'm giving you my gut impression. Who gives a shit? Welcome to the internet. God, take your fart-huffing, fedora-tipping shit back to Reddit. Go read some Wikipedia entries on logical fallacies. We, we, uh, <laughs> we're, we're forming a posse here. We're not going to court. Athi Mir. Jim, between the three kings, the king of catfish, the false king of the Kumite, and the quarry king, which is the true king of Cuckland? Which is the true king of Cutland? 
Well, you know, DSP didn't fall for the catfish. So he couldn't be. I don't know who the false king of the Kumite is. I, I'm going to go with Quarry King. I'm going to go with Matt on that one. Karambi, would you recommend going to college nowadays? It depends what your degree is. You'd probably be better off uh, learning a trade or going for a two-year technical degree. Maybe some kind of engineering uh, would get you a good job. Uh, something in the medical field would get you a good job that has a decent pay rate. If you're going to commit to a four-year degree, I, I would really highly suggest you job shadow somebody before you commit to it to learn if you can handle it. Because nothing is worse than spending three and a half years into a degree and then finding out you hate the idea of what you're about to be doing. Siesta Yan Yujujo, probably butchered that. You'd think it, uh, you think it revealed the account filing the report to hold people accountable? Uh, no, sadly it does not. Sir Wiggles, well, I guess we now know if the acorn's taking you down since you did the false flag them. Serves you right, Jim. That's the acorn revenge. Siri, say my name. Spax three returns. He never disappeared. He's doing a brony thing. He turned his comic fun Toon Zone shit from talking about Sonic the Hedgehog and Mega Man. And now it's like a My Little Pony kingdom. The last I heard about Spax 3, he was throwing cell phones at his mother's head and getting threatened to be kicked out of his house. Punished Creepworks, uh, thank you. Mr. Pingus Power, it was Joan Donovan. She protected her tweets. Uh, Joan Donovan is the person that was on the Council for Foreign Relations. Uh, that's who that, that person is referring to. Um, yeah, she did. She did highlight something, said I was source hacking shit. Uh, and then all my stuff goes down. And now she's protected her Twitter account. But again, like I said, if it was somebody with actual pull and power in a government position like that, there, there wouldn't be recovering anything. It would just be absolute. There'd be no recovery from it. Ket X, you're playing checkers while they are playing 4D tans, d trans dimensional Rick and Morty chess. I've learned my lesson, haven't I? Larry Bernard Sargon, it was me, Jim. It was me all along. Elysian, did you see the video Sargon made about your bands on the Thinkery? That thumbnail and hearted comments really get the noggin joggin. Uh, no, I have not. Blue Satoshi, what about suspect number four, Joan Donovan? Uh, again, like I said to the other poster, I, I don't think it would be them. You, if you're going to put out the theory that somebody is on the Council of Foreign Relations and they have a bunch of power and a bunch of connections, right, and they're in a position to really fuck anybody that ever pisses them off, then you also have to take into account that, that again, that would be absolute. Right? You can't say that they, they wield this great power, but then it gets overturned. That, that's why, personally, I don't think it's Joan Donovan. Uh, Bryce Boyner, The Shadow Knows. Spatial Seer, love your stuff, been following you since Specs, so here's a tip for keeping me entertained. Uh, thank you. Capitalist Cuban, the boulders and trouts are forming an autistic legion of doom. Well, I wouldn't be fucking surprised if they were. Now, I'll, I'll continue with reading these super chats here in a minute, but uh, going forward because <laughs> I, I have no idea. Maybe they'll try again on the account. I will... Th I, I, I don't even know what I'll do. Uh, if you want updates from me on things, again, you can you can uh, ask my good friend uh, <laughs> on his Twitter account, which is not mine, mind you. It's uh, somebody totally different. Totally, totally fucking different. Not me at all. And that would be uh, Mr. Antibully on Twitter. Or I'll have updates on Patreon. Or you can follow uh, a secondary account like uh, Brightside Bob, which is currently uh, named Hal. Uh, I'll put a link up to that later on. So if shit goes dark, you know where to look. If you're if you're looking for an update on something, I, I you know I wish I had more concrete evidence for you. I wish I had uh, more leads to go on, but we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Somebody will somebody will slip up, fuck up, and uh, it'll be more evident, won't it? Well, let's go back to this. Digistar DBZ, will the time come to scalp Big Chief Splitcock? Uh, well, I don't know what Kraut's going to do. Like I said, I, I know he put up two videos. Uh, somebody said he threw up a third one. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to probably, he's probably got like a catalog of people he wants to do videos on. Uh, you know, I was surprised the first one was on Coach Red Pill. I thought it'd be on like JF or something, because JF uh, made a lot of live streams making fun of him. So we'll see. Maybe there'll be a JF video. Uh, maybe there'll be other videos. Uh, JQ, make a poll. Let the viewers decide who done it. You know that's that is a good. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. I I will, I will do that, and I'll do that by asking my good friend, Mr. Anti Bully, uh, to put a fucking uh, poll up. That sound of the, the typing right now is me messaging him and not me creating a poll because that would be a toss violation, wouldn't it? 
that would be a toss violation. Oh, oh, he's messaged me back. He's making that pull. Oh, oh boy. Okay, uh, and I'll read out the results at the end of the stream, which we'll get to once I'm through the super chats here. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Antibully on Twitter has put up a poll. Who done it? Furries, Reset Era, Matt or Kraut? Feel free to vote on that, and uh, we'll, <laughs> we will see the results at the end of the stream on who in chat thinks they did it. You know, I really wish YouTube had this option. With all the features and shit they're putting in place, you'd think they'd allow people to put polls up or do stuff like that that's interactive, but apparently not. Uh, apparently not. Okay, where was I here? Toward Marcus Bickerland Jacobson. No, he put up three videos, but he took down the last one. It was about Edgy Sphinx. Okay, well, I, I guess he put three of them up. The United Bank of Money, Jim of the Autism and Islander, you know damn well it was the Big Brother Nibba. By the way, when are you going to get that series on the men's rights spurgs going? Uh, eventually. Uh, eventually I will get to that. I I had people sending me clips. Apparently V. Monroe and Karen Strawn were doing a stream. Uh, from what I hear, talking shit about me uh, while I was in the hospital. Saying that I was a pussy and ran away from the internet. And uh, just, just celebrating that. So maybe, maybe I have the motivation to go and do that MRA series now. Maybe I'll start the first video off laughing about how you lose a lawsuit with kickstarted money by hiring a disbarred lawyer. Maybe that'll be the opening to that first video. We'll see. We'll see. No promises. Justin Vincent, it's champ or it's chomping at the bit or it's champing at the bit, not chomping at the bit. Uh, fuck you. I'll say what I want. You're talking to a guy that says hyperbole instead of hyperbole. You can't really blame me. I am fucking retarded. Larry Bernard, Monday Matt plus Furries plus Kraut plus that guy with the glasses formed a Legion of Doom? Potentially. Sean Och. Hyperbowl. Jim, it's enunciated. Hyperbowl. Darkwing Dude, my money is on the Nostalgia Chicken Todd. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, theory. Uh, some people did throw out the speculation that Lindsay Ellis might have had a hand in the first flag that went on my channel uh, because she got a job at PBS. And the compilation videos make fun of Lindsay Ellis and talk about her arrest for drunk driving and her rape rap video, among other things. So she might have a motivation to try to purge the internet of things that uh, look distasteful to an employer like uh, PBS. But uh, I, I don't know. And I think if it was Lindsay Ellis, she would have done it a long time ago. I, I'd suspect the other groups that I, I listed first before I would uh, the Nostalgia Chick. Well, I'll put it that way. Uh, John the Fourth, I think it was Crump because he is back and did not make a vid on you. Well, from what I understand, he's just releasing them if he has a third video up, that means he's going to probably release him every day. So maybe there's one coming. Jack Orloff, B Monday and Matt, Boogie kills himself on live stream when you're broken. Chrono Atog, you were the new YouTube hero raid. A bunch of furry warriors and Monday and Matt learned how to tank as well as his sub count. Uh, potentially. Actually, you know, let's let's take a look. Let's see where Monday and Matt, where Mo uh, Matt Mundane is fucking sitting right now. Let's just take a look at how it's turning out for all of them, should we? Well, you, just for the fun of it. See uh, what's going on with these fucking people? I'll put this up on screen once I get this shit loaded. Uh, just give me a moment. Oh, you know, I should talk about the buying sub shit. Okay, you know what? I, I'll, I'll go into that. Oh, that is not what I want to look at. Let's let's pull up uh, Monday, uh, Monday Matt's Social Blade. And we, you can take a look at the fucking progression of this. Okay. Uh, where is it here? All right, so this is Monday Matt Social Blade. And the second number at the top there, that date, uh, August 9th, that's when the Pully the Polar Bear video was found. That's when the kill stream that he gets exposed happens. That's when everything really starts to go downhill. Just, just take a look at this shit. It goes from 95 loss to 300 loss to 600 loss. Now this is, I forgot to bring this up, but this is interesting too. On August 12th, Ethan Van Scryer, right, uh, the Comic Skate guys, uh, I'm pretty sure that's when he put his video out about Monday Night Matt. And one of the things he brings up in that is he made a video uh, basically talking badly about Matt because Matt was targeting them. And all of a sudden his shit gets age restricted. Again, really suspicious when you make fun of Matt, your videos get taken down or flagged or put into uh, uh, to timeout, essentially. 
So the dislike, uh, the, you know, the unsub numbers really shoot up. It goes up to 1,200. And then 1,700. And then I put my video out on the night of the 13th, and he's at 2,300 loss, 1,300 loss, 800 loss, 1,000 loss. More people are putting videos up. Everybody's finding out what Matt's doing. And then very strangely, scroll down just a little bit, very strangely, he has a positive gain. And if I could bring up the actual timeline, you would see that he got like 500 subs within 10 minutes. And people were like, holy shit, he's buying subs. But at the time, it didn't really matter, did it? Because the very next day, he lost 800 subs, then 400 subs. And then all of a sudden, on Saturday the 25th, Monday Matt mysteriously gains 3,000 subs within the span of a few hours. Now, if you look at, you know, in fact, uh, I think I can pull it up. Oh, I can't. If you looked at Matt's metrics and you looked at how many subs that he was making per month, uh, he's never, like the last seven or eight months, he never had hit 3,000 subs in a month. But in two hours, he gained 3,000 subs. So I think he's freaking out and he doesn't want to lose that 150 mark. That 150, the 150,000 subscribers, I think scares the shit out of Matt if he ever drops below that. But even after buying 3,000 fucking subs, he's almost back there again. He's sitting at 150,034. So we'll see what happens with Mr. Uh, Matt Mundane if he if he drops back down. Now let me pull up Kraut. And, uh, let me pull up Kraut. Let's see what his is sitting at. Let's see what the reaction to his uh, amazing fucking video on uh, on CRP was. Uh, where are we? Now uh, this is much much smaller. Oh wait, now let me do the expanded view here. God damn, he was losing. <laughs> Wow. All right. Okay. Window capture. There we go. This is Kraut and T's Social Blades. Now, he was gone for eight fucking months. Just remember that. And every day he's losing like 30 subs, which I guess isn't out of the ordinary. If you're not putting up content, people are just going to unsubscribe. So that that's not really surprising. But there you go. On the, on the 27th, when he puts up his videos, loses 870 subs. The very next day, 600 subs. So these are both guys that Every time they're taking shots, right? Every time they get shots taken at them, just just lose a bunch of subs. Now, Kraut made a video on Coach Red Pill, right? Let's see what the effect that that had was. How how damaged is Coach Red Pill right now? By the way, I think you're all going to be really fucking surprised by this. I want you to, I want to show you Coach Red Pill's social blade right now. And I want you to compare it to uh, Monday Matt and uh, Kraut and Tease. You ready for this? This is Coach Red Pill's fucking social blade. He has gained 50,000 subs in two months. His most recent gain, 800 subs today. Yesterday, uh, 750 subs. He, was, he had weeks at a time gaining 25, 2300 subs. Kind of puts uh, a bit of a difference between him and Matt and uh, him and Kraut. So I guess Kraut's video really has had zero fucking impact. Because Kraut lost 800 subs and Coach gained 800 subs. Good old Trout Father, right? The master strategist, the guy that had a Discord op server to fuck with people on the internet, ends up gaining the guy he wants to target 800 fucking subs and loses 800. That's brilliant, Kraut. Ooh, you're such a brilliant strategist. God, I hope he does do a video on me. I could use the extra 5,000 subs that'll get me. Like you, Everybody should be asking Kraut to make a video on them because apparently when he does, it's nothing but good luck. <laughs> you get positive numbers. Uh, I'm went a bit off track here. <laughs> uh, we got we got we got off the beaten path. Uh, but this plays perfectly into the shocker in Super Chat. What is your opinion of Matt gaining 3,000 subs in one hour the other day? A uh, very suspicious, isn't it? Especially with nothing but straight losses for two fucking weeks. But Matt's a good boy. He didn't do nothing. Ash here. Suge Knight did this. It's Britney bitch. Uh, well, uh, you know, I guess uh, I guess Shug has uh, decided to put me in his sights. Maybe he wanted to uh, do me like he did Vanilla Ice. Cassie B, Matt's girlfriend did it since he doesn't have the balls. Alt Keck secondary. This was Kraut message Alt Keck for more info. So somebody's claiming they have some information that uh, Kraut was the one responsible for it. We'll take a look. Jack U, nipple clap Kraut, fraud Flintstone, the persecuted. You have your very own rogues gallery here. I would fund your comic. I do have quite the assortment of retards that uh, are angry at me. I will I will give you that. 
Smug Bugman, mundane Fay can eat a bucket of peckers. Anye, have you uh, seen the autistic card game Matt made? Yes, I have seen the autistic card game Matt made. And if you look at his really old videos, he was so proud of it, he framed it on the wall. And then he replaced it with a video of him crying uh, <laughs> while he put his YouTube black up. Aaron the Angry, reporting this stream, I'm in a bad place. You almost got it right, Aaron. It's a bad head, it's a bad head space, is what he said. Nicholas Romani, ever seen grown man deep throat a ch <laughs> chikama? No, I have not. Ella Elise, you're a good guy, stay well. Thank you. Ayami Takahashi, Sneaky Matt didn't think we'd notice he paid for 3,000 subs. The cute little rascal. Michael Hunter, now wait a minute, Matt, no. Marine Murphy, Jim, Cor okay, I already read that one. Skipping down a little. Look up a man named Jason Blaha from James Pilrose. Uh, I'll take a look. Maybe they did some funny shit on the internet. Azur's Nova's video game music. Do you think Matt takes his kid out to the forest to flag some videos? I don't know. I mean, they've got to have some time in between collecting those river rocks and boulders to get up to some shenanigans on their smartphones. Anthony Wildman waiting for YouTube to ban this amount of money. Uh, and the amount of money that he donated was $14.88. Charles the Hammer. You can take my acorns from my cold, dead hands. Peter Baelish, Kraut comes back and you get flagged. Coincidence? I think not. The Dicka experience just got here. What are we talking about? We're talking about uh, my Twitter account getting uh, basically taken down, suspended. My YouTube account was closed last night, terminated after two strikes. And my Facebook account was locked. And all of this within the span of three hours. True Master Cole, get Streamlabs. YouTube doesn't get a cut. Uh, you know... I, I I know a lot of people use Streamlabs. It seems like it's even more shit to set up. Uh, Katharga, Jim, maybe just maybe you publicly embarrassed a journal, and we just saw the media conglomerate successfully le or lean on these platforms to get rid of people. Well, I will say this. I mean, if you want to talk about suspects, uh, there was... I, I was talking about doing a video about, uh, you know, because you're talking about social pressure on platforms. I was talking about doing a video on some of the recent things that have been happening. Uh, BitChute was informed by Stripe, which is a payment service on the internet. You've probably run into it if you use Patreon or other sites. That um, financial partners of Stripe didn't want to do business with BitChute because of their content. Patreon put out a statement recently about having to remove somebody's Patreon account because MasterCard told them to get rid of it. So, you know, I, I got curious in thinking, you know, maybe some of the hardcore censorship we see on certain sites, on payment processors and on social media isn't necessarily just a bunch of crazy hypersensitive SJWs. Maybe these are the small guys getting shit on by larger back-end financial institutions. So I was starting to dig into that. So if you want to talk about getting leaned on, <clears throat> uh, maybe there's a motivation there. Diversity is our strength. He didn't do nothing. He just needs boulders for dem programs. Caps Lock 3. Will Acorns be the new weapons St. Todd Howard will give us in Fallout 76? <laughs> I fucking have no idea. I'm not going to be playing that video game. Royal Columbo voice. Now, Matt, these rocks, what do you call them, boulders? Solomon Grunty, Matt LARPing as a rocker boy from Cyberpunk 2020. You know, I saw the gameplay footage of that. I don't care if people don't like the fact that it's too bright for their cyberpunk fantasy. It looked fun. Cyberpunk 2020 looks fucking fun. Or uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Fuck. I'm getting a little tired. Uh, Levi Maidens, Tariq Nasheed used his BBW MWD to take you down. Uh, well, Tariq Nasheed has said that uh, Big Black Cock is a weapon of mass destruction that can destroy the Earth. Not making that up, he was in a stream with Jared Taylor when he told him that Black Dick can conquer Earth. Gutsy, when you say collecting boulders, is he saying he's collecting rocks? Uh, potentially. Matt, thinking about changing my name? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, Matt's ruined it for every other Matt, hasn't he? Roadkill Phil, at least he learned not to flag an ongoing stream. Uh, he is learning. I will give him that. Lolna, here's some shekels to buy you some safety glasses to help keep nuts out of your eyes. I can't... All these people putting their nuts in my eyes. What am I going to do? Pinky Culture, I did it. MS Dead Shark, boulders equal rocks. Rocks equal rock. Hudson, Matt was mining for AIDS. Madeline, the soy-soaked penisless abomination and the furries joined forces, calling it now, and I think we've hit where we were before we have. Uh, you know, what? let's let's take a look at the poll. I'll read the last of the super chats, and then uh, we'll we'll close up the stream here in a little bit. What is the poll on uh, 
this totally other person's Twitter account, Mr. Anti-Bully. Uh, let me, let me see if I can... <laughs> I probably can't pull that up like I want to. Okay. Uh, so far, the results are this. We've got a tie for a whodunit. Uh, 17% believe the furries are responsible. 9% believe it was Reset Era. And tied for first place, Matt and Kraut at 37%. See what I mean? I mean, it could go either way, couldn't it? It's really hard to pin it down. Who's responsible? Where's the poll? Uh, it's on the Twitter account of Mr. Anti-Bully. That's where the poll is. That is where you could find it. Oh, somebody's doing a live count right now in the chat. They said 150,006 is what Monday Matt's account's sitting at right now. Uh, Sticks, Hex, and Hammer in the, the chat. Utilize Mines, Gab, BitChute, and stream it, or Steam it. Um, I've used Mines. It's very functional. It's, you know, it's it's got its own shit built into it. Mines works great. I uh, have a Gab account. You know, it's an alternative to Twitter. Uh, BitChute I haven't used yet, but it looks really good. Uh, they've got their UI down pat, and people seem to like it. I think BitChute really has an opportunity to do something big uh, if they're not fucked with by these back-end financial institutions. Um, yeah, I, I've got some hope for BitChute. But, I mean, I was hopeful about VidMe as well. And Steemit, I, that one I don't know. I'm unfamiliar with that one. Uh, somebody asking, what's your new Twitter? Uh, there is no new Twitter. I've been banned, and I don't want to. I don't want to be guilty of ban evasion. That would be wrong. That would be that would be wrong, chat. Uh, Plex Storm. I am planning on going on Plex Storm. I'm going to be streaming on Plex Storm. Okay, let's uh, let's read some more of these here. Jonas Traber, what about the creepy app all those YouTubers pushed? You think they have a poll? Uh, Jonas is referring to Candid. Uh, I recently did a stream with uh, uh, Harmful Opinions talking about Candid. And uh, there was a group on YouTube that was shilling it. And uh, there's some shady shit. Uh, but no, I don't, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's Candid that did this. Um, and I, you know, I, I can't really necessarily see that group as a whole wanting to do it either. I, I really, the suspects that I've listed are the suspects I, I believe have some invested interest. Hey man, nice shot. Have you considered Laura Wet Bread Tires Loomer? Hashtag me taco. Well, Laura is an idiot, but I've already put a video up about Laura Loomer being a retard and she's never bothered with it. And I also yelled at her on live stream and she never bothered with it. So no, I don't think it's Laura Loomer. Douglas Stewart, why don't you take your large following to Gab? Everyone is already there looking for you. Um... You can't really upload videos on Gab. I know they're going to do a streaming thing, but as far as I know, it's just it's a social media alternative. Uh, Irish Fortner one one four. I made an account to participate in the poll, and it just got banned. Thanks, Jimbo. You can thank Mr. Anti Bully. That's not my fault. Big Guy Project CIA. Pamperchu is the Christian Weston Chandler of the diaper community. John Cena, to be honest, is probably the Juggalos. Thanks for the vids, by the way. I chase Asperger's, and your vids make me happy. I'm not fully retarded. Don't die of ass cancer AIDS. I will try not to. Fuck you, Google. I think it was Matt now. I just dipped to check out his channel. We need to watch the first minute or so of his latest video. Okay, I will oblige you. Uh, you're the second person to bring that up, so let's go take a look. Chat, uh, well, you know, let me ask chat. Should we watch the first minute of his most recent video? Because people are saying that uh, it's something that needs to be watched. Would that be something that interests you, chat? Give it a minute to catch up here, and I'll try to pull up Monday Matt's Monday Matt's thing. All right, how far down on the fucking list is his actual channel listed? There we go. My name is Matt Jarbo. This is the motherfucking Mundane Matt Show. Today is the 28th of August, 2018. And my, man, you know what? I want a slow day, goddammit. I want a slow day. I just want a day where not a lot goes on. 
you know, I can cover my stories, I can hang out with my kid, I can have good times, but no, the world, the world doesn't work that way. The world is always trying to find interesting ways to tell you fucked up shit. And this, of course, today, Jesus is no damn different. It's no damn different. Uh, first things first, uh, there were some accusations made against me last night in regards to some persons having their accounts taken down. False. Fake news. Wasn't me. End of story. Moving on. I'm not going to address it again. But <laughs> there's a... <laughs> <laughs> it's me, guys. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> oh, your account got taken down. <laughs> Giggles. I'm just giggling over here. I'm just Monday, Matt, Matt Monday, the Boulder King, the Quarry King. Just having a little bit of a giggle, having a little bit of a laugh. Wasn't me. Not going to address it. That's false. I never flagged anybody, even though I got caught red handed doing it. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know, Matt. Seems a little bit suspicious. Seems a little bit suspicious. You want to show us that flag history again there, champ? You want to pull that one up, you fucking cunt? Yeah, that nervous laughter. He did that during the fucking stream, too. Oh, yeah, no, he didn't do it. Not him. Not him. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news, everybody. I haven't already destroyed my career doing this once. I would never do it again. I don't know what you're talking about. Fake news. It's fake news. Little Mr. Giggles over here telling everybody about the fake news. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for that, by the way. Uh, who was the one who suggested we needed to watch? Fuck you, Google was the one that suggested we should go watch the first minute of his video, which is not titled anything related to what happened to me. So I probably would not have seen that. I don't know. Does that does that does that push it more towards Jarbo the Hut? Are we thinking maybe that's more likely that Jarbo did it? Potentially. Potentially, Matt did it. Boulder King didn't do nothing. He's a good boy. He's innocent. So I'm gonna chat, Mike Rowe. I smell fear. Uh, yeah, it's potential. It's potentially he might be a little upset. I'm just gonna address it. Wouldn't even say my name. Wouldn't even say what the accusation was. This is a guy that runs a drama channel that talks about drama that doesn't want to talk about drama. Interesting. Interesting. Matt doesn't want to talk about that piece of the news cycle. Interesting. Okay, Quarry King. Well, moving on. Again, thank you, fuck you, Google. I would have missed that. What if they're all working together to flag and report you like an autistic legion of doom? Stay woke. Well, that is why I included, <laughs> you know, uh, Trudeau. Or not Trudeau, Jesus Christ. Uh, Poirot. Hercule Pro, uh, Poirot. On the image. You know, Murder on the Orient Express. Maybe everybody's in it together. Maybe that's the big secret we're all unaware of. See, that's a possibility. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm using my big boy thoughts on this, potentially. Uh, from John Smith, I'm confused, Jim. What's so special about 1488? I think it's 12 cents short of $15, and Google wants a bigger cut? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm so out of, the, out, of, out of the loop on this. Dank Dirty Dan, what happened to random DCE? I have no fucking idea. Yosemite Sam, thoughts on Trump's comments on regulating Google? Uh, he's been making a few comments about this, so we'll see where it goes. I, I really don't know yet on what he's going to do. Blue Satoshi, the money is only for Hebe Buddy Bucks. Invest now. Santa Muerta Live, he's still flagging Dami Pesos, deleting comments on his videos. Uh, referring to Monday and Matt, I believe. Sword and Scale, run for president and ban Twitter. Did you see the, uh, the GoFundMe that was put up by an ex-CIA agent? who wanted to raise a billion dollars to buy Twitter just so they could ban Trump. And they made they made $90,000 on... Uh, it just... <laughs> fucking Christ. It was your mom, Jim. Should have lied all those years ago. Apparently coming to get me. Chrono Atog. Matt made 3,000 golems from the store... <laughs> from the stone quarry to give him subs. Deep fried lettuce. Coach coin values taking off. Bitcoin plebs on suicide watch. ATB, even though I'm a degener or degenerate furfag, I've always loved your videos. Thank you for the entertainment. I'm glad you like them. Chuckle77, thank you. Timothy uh, Averinov, the money is only for Coachcoin. Invest now. Well, it is a smart investment. His stock is taking off. He's gained 50,000 subs in just two months. So Coachcoin is going to go through the fucking roof. Rocket Insano, I spoke to Kraut today, asking him for proof. He spoke to a reporter for the reasons he said in the video. After that, his video got taken down. Uh, interesting. 
Zemeckis Lebowski. It was probably Matt. Most villains are dormant right now. J House Rock. Jim, best way to stay out of hospital is to stay away from Cedar Riverside. Too many Somalis. Bravo for having top live stream even with no listing. Uh, thank you. Harold M. I bet you also say or I bet you also say forte instead of fort for the word forte. A fort is a strength. A forte is a musical term. Fort AP, Fort Silent E, get get red Jim. Zach Lonby, taco no state is the best no state me taco. Greg Schwartz could have been Jeff Holiday. He's a total cunt. Uh, I, I really I haven't really done anything to Jeff Holiday. He was in the original Kraut and T videos, but I haven't said anything about Jeff Holiday in eight months. So I, I don't know why he'd be motivated to do something now. Adam T O H C. Sandra Lee finally woke up from her alcoholic coma and decided to strike you down before drinking herself into another coma. A lot of hot takes this evening on what is going on. Well, let's go take a look and see see how that that poll is doing if it's been updated. Uh, it's still relatively the same. 18% for Furries, 9 for Reset Era, 36% for Matt. Kraut has pulled ahead. He's now at 37%. Kraut is now in the lead by about 20 votes. So <laughs> he's he's doing it. He's going to go for the gold. Phyla, it was John Madden himself. Caps Lock 3, I believe it was Todd Howard. You made fun of him, of his Vault 76, baby. Politically incorrect, it was Sandra Lee. The beginning. Search the chat. Blue Satoshi, Sticks is in the chat and is Gungan for some reason. To or Toad McKinley, how can he be so blind? It was Invisible Crane. Is he opping everybody? <laughs> has, has Invisible Crane come to enact his Scottish revenge on everyone? Random number nine, what teams will be playing in this year's Hyper Bowl? I don't know. If I was a betting man, I'd be putting money down because I'd have a, I'd have that, that foresight to know who's going to make it. Never so clever as this. I linked one of your videos to a friend. Two hours later, that friend won't talk to me anymore, and you get blacklisted. I'm so sorry, senpai. Forgive me for your enormous, <laughs> forgive me with your enormous multiracial dong. I suppose it depends on what the video was. Was it turn off that pesky ad block, and was that friend Monday Matt? Dove in death, are you still planning to do or doing a video on the Overwatch community? Eventually, probably. Joe Scott, so Matt and Kraut are going to play flag tag, while we play Who Done It. Matt's kid is Bam Bam picking up boulders. Watch your head. Redacted username: The Taco No State is the best No State. Me Taco. I think I've read that one already. Somebody saying maybe Ross uh, devised a plan to take me down. I, I don't know what Ross is doing other than hiding from the police for being, uh, you know, a self-admitted pedophile. Fuck Ross. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me one second here, chat. I'm going to pull something up. Somebody's sending me something. We'll see what we got here. Yeah, I see you in chat, R. Thomas. Somebody, uh, he was saying I should switch platforms and go to Twitch. Twitch would be the worst place to go. People are leaving Twitch to come to YouTube because of how how oppressive it is at Twitch right now. If you make a joke on another social media platform, it's similar to what uh, Blizzard's doing with Overwatch. Like, you can get banned now in Overwatch if you make a joke about another player on, like, your Twitter account. Well, Twitch has a similar thing, where if you do something off of Twitch that violates Twitch's terms of service, they'll get rid of you. So people are leaving Twitch to come to YouTube, and that's how bad it's gotten over there. But like I said, give, give me a minute here. I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. It wasn't. Uh, it was not related to the events of this evening. Uh, well, uh, how do I want to do this? I will read the rest of the super chats and respond. Uh, but as far as the suspect list goes, the the majority of the stream is done. So if you don't want to listen to super chats getting read and responded to, this is where you jump off. Uh, thank you for coming out. Like I said, if uh, my account goes down again, uh, you can get updates. Uh, places like um, Mines. I've got a Mines account on Gab or on Patreon. Uh, Facebook will be unlocked in three days, so I think that'll be fine. Twitter's gone forever. And the YouTube channel is back up and kicking again. Thank you, Keemstar, and whoever was at YouTube that 
took the time to look at it and see that uh, the videos weren't in violation of anything. I'm going to go get a drink. We'll read through the rest of these super chats. I'll address them. And then we'll call it an evening. Uh, this time, though, I will put some break music on. We'll go, we'll go back with a little, a little hot remix of Blue's Clues, because I know you all love that trap shit. <laughs> Let me pull that up. Okay. Uh, give me like just a couple of minutes, two, three minutes here. We'll get back in. We'll do the super chats and then close up the stream. Again, thank you everybody for coming out. Uh, that's my suspect list. We'll see who did it. They'll, they'll eventually run their mouth. They can't fucking help themselves, can they? Of course not. Of course not. They're going to want to brag a little bit. But uh, we'll be back. I'll be back in just about two, two or three minutes. Out of mind. Okay, we should be back now. So I'll make my way through the uh, Super Chat. We'll, we'll chat a little bit here before closing up the stream. Let me just refresh this so I can get all the ones I missed. Uh, pull this up here. All right, Yosemite Sam, what the fuck do you drink to get three drinks in one hour? Uh, well, it could be called paint thinner or car cough, uh, but it's delicious. Rue for, <laughs> Rue for Rye... 5052, lol, Kraut's video on Braving Ruin even got pulled from Pornhub. Wait, Kraut's putting his videos on Pornhub? <laughs> is the title, Watch a German Man Get Fucked? <laughs> what? Why is it on, why, why are his videos on Pornhub? I joked about doing that. Is he actually doing that? He's actually throwing his shit up on porn sites? Cloudstar, Jim, you are the hero we don't deserve. Jim plus Jade stream when? Oh, uh, there's no way that could, that could be posted on YouTube. The last time that happened, we got an X rating. Super Hans, damn, my wife's son, where'd you find this? Dish, oh, uh, you're talking about the song? I will, I'll put up a link 
uh, to the the remix, the hot remix of Blue's Clues, uh, in the description later if people want to check that out. It's not bad. Dish, uh, dig dash dog. Make a series on the rich stuff on Fur Affinity. I actually have a free series planned, uh, dealing with like Fur Affinity and Ink Bunny and all their their little communities. Alec Majorson. Hey Jim, come back on the show sometimes. Let's do a stream. Uh, yeah, hit me up on, I, I guess Facebook in three or four days when I'm not fucking blocked from doing things on it. Filthy Axe at a reasonable price. Trout Sycophants come here in defense right away. I, I Yeah, the chat's going so fast it's hard to see, but I'm sure there's some in there. Uh, Breaker Keck. Uh, Okie dokie. Oh, let's see. Scarfy the Strange. Zoe getting revenge for conspiracy. I think Zoe is busy working on comic books? Is the new industry she's going to fuck with? I don't, I don't know. Man Yongles, I think I still think Tariq Nasheed did it. You spent a lot of your last video roasting him. I could totally see him getting butthurt and flagging you. I, I, I don't think it's Tariq Nasheed. I have my reasons on why I don't think it's Tariq Nasheed. I could be wrong, but I, I'm fairly certain it's not him. Mr. Kill Everything, you cannot even play Lose Your Suit Larry on Twitch. It's a sad state of affairs, I agree. Dog Pants Square Cheese, have you heard about the news surrounding Senpai Alex Jones getting caught with premium tranny porn? Uh, yes, I have. I was talking about that, um, was it a day or two ago when it happened? I, I think the biggest mystery about that is, if Alex, if Alex Jones is watching tranny porn, and he doesn't eat soy, and he filters his water, what's making him have a lust for cock? There's, there's another thing out there that's contaminated Alex. I bet it's turning the frogs gay as well. We need to, need to get to the bottom of that mystery. But that's another episode of the mystery, the mystery show. This one is concluding, so we can't delve into it too deep. Cult of Krill, the death no state is the only state AHBW. Shane Quigley, glad you're out of your iron lung for the hour. Uh, thanks. JSC Hong, just sub to you. Heil Kraut, Heil Sticks. Wukata, hashtag anima right, or anime right. Roadkill Phil, the diaper dudes are back for no good reason. Bricer Boyner, uh, you need to join forces with Alex Jones to unmask the culprit, take down the Autistic Legion of Doom, make it a grand operation, a nut job, if you will. <laughs> Karambi, advice for guys wanting to be an alpha chad or be more confident? Uh, <laughs> some, some random fuck on the internet telling you how to be a more confident alpha chad is probably not going to make you a more confident alpha chad. You're just, you, you want to be more confident? Force yourself. That's, that's my suggestion to you. Go pick something that embarrasses the fuck out of you and do it. And do it repeatedly until it stops embarrassing you. And then you have a little bit more confidence. That's the best I got for you. Xenophag Uprising, do your parents even know you make these videos? Uh, no, I, 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 keep, I keep my videos to myself. I'm not, I'm not the type that walks around and says, hey guys, come check out this hot YouTube video would make for a fucking bizarre Thanksgiving dinner. Editorial Joe, YouTube don't have ideological bents. They are a business and focus on profits. That's why Facebook banned millions and lost massive value by doing so, because they like profit right. Sought off with that noise. Uh, no, I very much believe. I mean, you could see what happened with uh, uh, was it James Damore. Uh, Google has, there, there are ideological bents at these corporations, obviously. I, I think everybody kind of sees that. Sean Turner, Terry A. Davis warned us the glow in the dark CIA niggers. Look at what happened to Boogie. He didn't kill himself. He was a good boy, didn't do nothing. Uh, Boogie, oh, is he dead again? Is Boogie dead again? Well, I get one of these messages every day. He must <laughs> he must have like the world's best medical care to be constantly resuscitated. Oogie Boogie, you can't hear the latent homosexuality in Matt's pound my chili hole daddy Jim Jarbo's laugh. My money is on a collab of him and Trout to take you down. Keep debunking on these, or keep dunking on these Spurgs, Jim. Take it easy. Dune Desperado. Kraut's now missing video was titled, We Was Whites. Maybe Koinky Dink, but a neat title. Cult Revolver. Maybe it was Short Fat Otaku. I, I, I doubt that it was Short Fat Otaku. Sword and Scale. Medicare, if you get banned from the internet, I'm canceling it and going back to network TV and rabbit ears. Well... <laughs> Uh, we're all going to get banned from the internet eventually. It's a slow march towards censorship, isn't it? Uh, D. Watt, I remember Pamper Chew. He used to make retro computer videos, and after I figured out the diaper stuff, I backed out quick. If I, is Pamper Chew the dude that would get diapers, use diapers out of, like, garbage cans, 
run them under the sink and then microwave them and wear them? Is that the guy? Or am I thinking of another freak? It's, it's hard to keep track. Uh, Gulf City JTV, Jim Medeker, Enemy of Canada, Slayer of Fag, Prime Ministers, Destroyer of Internet Careers. Dog Pants Square Cheese, Jim, form your own Tard Wrangler League to fight against the Autistic Legion of Doom. Uh, it's really becoming a comic book, isn't it? Uh, Fabian Suentes, look at the action on Monday in Matt's sub count. He is desperately trying to keep it over 150,000 since 808. Yeah, I, he, 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 that number really seems to fuck with his head. He does not want that number to dip between 150k. I, I, something chaos. I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure what font that is. Does Matt know polar niggas are more oppressed than midget, transvestite, Muslim polysexuals? I don't know. That's a question we should all ask him, though. Altkeck Secondary, don't drop me a DM. It was Kraut at Altkeck. Or drop me a DM. It was Kraut at Altkeck. See, Smasher, someone flagged my Monday Matt parody song. Down within an hour, it's all so annoying. Song's new three-minute edit are back up with little issue. Yeah, like I said, he has he has Google alerts. So if you if you make fun of Monday and Matt, he will know about it. And more than likely, he will pull down things. 6-8 Toast, I smell a crusade against Cuckday and Matt. Uh, there's a message deleted here, so I can't I can't actually read what it was. Theocratic of Poontang, some love for you, sir. Keep on keeping on. Hoodoo Brown, wow, he couldn't sound more guilty. Carl Chinoski, D.B. Cooper is Tommy Wiseau, Monday Matt is Monday Matt, Krupp Flag Jim, it just makes sense. Action Com, while you were great at seeing through Matt's lies, how would you rate him as a, bu <laughs> as a bluffer? Should Vegas worry? Um, he's got a bit of a deadpan delivery. Uh, he'd probably be he'd probably be decent at a card game, uh, but he's he's not that great. Matt O'Donnell, there's a guy on YouTube named King Cobra JFS, perfect material for internet insanity. Absolute Spurg, he's an abomination of a person. Please look into it. I'll take a look. Cosmic uh, Dagoran, what if Google combined with Candid AI and Tay or Tay AI to make a sentient soy boy Ultron? The report <laughs> reports all non shitlip posts. Well, Tay, Tay wouldn't go along with that. She would fight the programming and come back to us. Ace Ken Shader. YouTube and other social media companies don't have ideological bents. They are a business and focus on profits. So if they will shut down anyone who will piss our shareholders off, I've seen this happen to both right-wing and left-wing users on equal terms. I would disagree. Um, I think there are ideological bents at a certain level of management in some of these corporations. I think there is a, right now, uh, kind of an urge to target people more on the right than anything. Uh, but I have seen people on the left get taken out. Uh, Destiny would be one that comes to mind. He, he got shit canned on Twitch for like 30 days. He lost his Twitter account, had his YouTube threatened. Uh, there's some others too. But I, I think uh, it feels more like a majority on the right get targeted. Uh, John Marston, please check out John or Jason Blaha, The Lulz. McCarthy's List, Senate has been demanding social media coordinate to get rid of diversive voices as fake news for three years. Welcome to the being victim number two after Alex, you Russian, or you official Russian bot. Another deleted message. James Wallace, thoughts on collaborating with Harmful in the future? I like Harmful Opinions. I watch his stuff. I'm glad he's back on YouTube. I'm glad he's making videos again. I uh, wish him the best. Uh, Party Alms or Alms CB. I'm not playing FO or I'm not playing Fallout 76. Transportable property, roads irrelevant. Only law and the NAP launch recreational nukes. Sell crafted items. It's Ancapistan. No, Fallout 76 is going to be... <laughs> I don't have a lot of hope for it. We'll see how it plays out. Todd Joachim, the Jews did this. Robeck World, have you tried Shit Poster Club? Aiden Paladin, Ishala, behead those who insult Jim. Peace be upon him. Donut Dog 23, yeah, but no one watches... Or, but no one's watching Coach Red Pill. They're subscribing out of spite, but his vids aren't getting any views. Uh, that's untrue. I actually was kind of curious as to why, where all these subs are coming from. Uh, and I've noticed that he's attracted a massive, I'm going to guess, a massive uh, maybe MRA incel audience. Because the majority of the vids that get a lot of views are the ones he put up talking about uh, women being stupid and how to look out for like thoughts, that kind of thing. Uh, so I think those really, he, he, those get really popular for him. And he brings in a pretty fucking large view count on those for his channel. So <laughs> I think that's where the new influx is coming from. That's my guess. Commissar Warder, what if it was Destiny? Uh, it wasn't Destiny. Uh, the Turkish Zoo, do you think Matt will make a video crying when he has to give his silver play button back? 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of video Matt would be making if that ever occurred, uh, but I would laugh if he had under 100k. Jonas Traber, what about the creepy app all the YouTubers pushed? Okay, now we're, we're back up. I got a few more, and then I think we're caught up. Tried to stay on top of these throughout the stream without interrupting too much. Hopefully I'm getting a better balance of it. Uh, Apollonis, the apologist. This is for using an ad blocker on your videos. R or Gary Winters, hey Jim, what do you think of Worski's new vids? Uh, I haven't had a chance to really watch him. I know he, he came back with like a new series, so I, I can't really give you an opinion at the moment. Sean Turner, don't worry if you ever leave YouTube. Sam Hyde and Adam, or Adam Worski are going to visit YouTube headquarters and going to make the last shooting a joke. Uh, traps will replace you, or I'm sorry, hashtag traps will replace you. P.S. Statism is gay. I know. Matthew J. Killian, what's your take on the Catholic Church scandal? It's weird. I was on Fuentes' stream, uh, and we actually delved into a little bit about what his thoughts on the Catholic Church and their history of molestation was, and he said it's a little before my time. Uh, well, not anymore, apparently. I'm kind of curious what Nick's opinion on it is, because this is this is happening now. It's being addressed now, so I'm, I'm really curious what he thinks. Blue Satoshi, all those nuked diapers gave Pamper to cancer. Old gay, or old angry normie. Get Streamlabs, you lazy fuck. Sick of giving Google 30% just to pay discount Mike Rowe to read my name. Hurtful. Hurtful. Google needs that 30% to keep running this amazing business. Jim Jam, Dick Slam. I rate Bear Mirrored Kraut's videos. We Was White's video. Okay, well, if you want to watch, uh, what is it? We Was White's, uh, Kraut's, I guess, third video. It's up on I rate Bear's channel. Unknown Archive, I bet this $5 it was Matt. He flagged me for providing clips of him singing Barbie Girl. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. He's flagged a lot of fucking people. Son of Tiamat, uh, Kraut's a douche, that is all. Daniel McGuire, could the ban be Sargon's doing? I don't know if the, the stepfather has reached his hand out, but I, I highly doubt it. Like I said, I've got my suspect list. I could be completely off base. It might be somebody completely different. Give it a year. It, it'll eventually come out. Thomas S., Sword and Scales, and Mr. Medicker, all time favorite creators together, make a wish foundation so close to coming true. Smo Raptor. I don't know how deep this goes, but it has the Jew shells on pole and maximum overshell. It runs very deep. Uh, uh, Rue for Rye 5052. It got pulled from YouTube for hate speech. I think he's. Are you talking about Kraut's video or are you talking about your uh, previous super chat? Uh, Huey Long, tell your friends to check your Twitter. I have proof that Matt was up at 3 a.m. defending himself. He was clearly picking boulders, or up boulders at the time. My account is at Patriot Chair. Okay, well, I'll take a look. Jose M, wait a minute, Matt, no. Matt, no. Fure Tetanus, uh, academics, please respond. Isopod, please tell me PK Glitched Puppet is in your furry series, 1,000 pages on Kiwi Farms. <laughs> well, now they'll be. Uh, Thomas S. Get Mike Boudet a sword and skill on stream. Probably, I got. I'm butchering. Er, I'm butchering everybody's name. I know I am. Sword skills on stream. Uh, we're just finishing up, but I, I, I uh, love to have him on sometime if he wants to come on. Kevin Thompson or Thomas. God damn. See, it's the you know I blame the acorns. This is not my fault. Kevin Thomas. Couchcock video when it is coming. Uh, Ferd Reich. Blizzard banned me for two weeks for having a username Lol Trayvon and forced me to name change. I am now Trayvon Lol. <laughs> you really circumvented him. Ash here. Monday and Thanos snapped your channel away. Monica Lewinsky and did not. I would bet it was Matt's wife's son. Why isn't he on the list? Yosemite Sam. What the fuck do you drink? Okay, we're back to that. Looks like I, I missed a few more and then uh, we'll close up. Again, thank you for everybody for, for coming out. I hope you had a, a nice stream. Had a good day. Uh, you know, let me pull up the last of the poll results. Let's see where this is sitting. I'll give you a final, or a final tally. All right, as it stands, who did it? Uh, with a total of 3,300 votes. At uh, dead last, Reset Era with 9%. Third place, the Furries at 19%. And again, once again, tied for first place at 36% each. Kraut and Matt. So very split on which way that went. But uh, those are your poll results from the people that took the time to to vote. Dog Pants Square Cheese. Jim Kraut and T, with the help of the furry community, has awoken Matt from his cave, and this hill giant is going to crush Tardville with his boulders. <laughs> Save them, Jim. Unite the Tard Wrangler League. I don't know if I had the power to stand up against him. The Quarry King is an almighty enemy. 
Giga Warp, did you see how Dick got control over Maddox's pad- er, podcast feed and added a bit to the episode taking the piss out of Maddox? Yes, I did. That was fucking funny. Welfare, please do another episode of Fuck Video Games. Uh, probably not. Amazing 1985, press 1 to protect against boulder theft. True American Hero, what if Sam Hyde flagged you because you kept making fun of his mass shooter buddies? It's payback for all those fucking jokes. A homeless semantic. Uh, hi, Matt. I'm sure you're listening. I, you're probably correct. Jose M. Wait a minute, Matt. No, no, no. Okay, I think we're we're back. Am I bad, or is that just another one? Let me read a few more here. The Orange Cow Jim, you skipped a lot in the middle between suspects. Big Project, uh, Big Guy Project CA. My internet connection is poor. Been in a rock quarry, so I've missed a lot of the stream super chats. On Pepper Chew, he is a prime for internet insanity. He wears used diapers that he sanitizes by microwaving. Among many other things. I knew that was... The, okay, that is him. Yeah, I'm familiar with the crazy shit that particular guy does. Uh, fuck you, Google. Do you think it could be the perfect storm of butthurt and autism leading to an unplanned brigade on multiple fronts? It's a potentiality. Apollonist, the apologist. This is for using ad block on videos. All right, a few more here. Trying to get them all. Troy Fowler, better get the mirrors going. You still have Bob, don't you, though? Yes, I do. The skeezed Herman, what do you think of drunken, uh, of drunken peasants? I, I don't listen, so I don't really have an opinion on them. Striker Quiet, please take a look at the bathrobe Dwayne, Internet Insanity Candidate, Try Hard Compilation 16, Platinum Autism. Thomas S., leave us alone, Lex. Trevor Metivir, Metivir? Gas the bikes, race car now. TJ Cladwell, why do you, uh, why do you, you of shoe and candid? What? What do you, you of shoe and candid? What do you, you of shoe and candid? Are you, are you guys just intentionally throwing super chat? <laughs> I have enough trouble reading as it is and not making an ass of myself when I'm reading out names and, and things, but then you're going to throw that out there to fuck with me, aren't you, TJ? I don't, I don't even know what the fuck, <laughs> I don't know what you're getting at, I'm sorry. Massive damage gaming, Mama K did it, Jimbo. Troy Fowler, better get the mirrors going, you still have Bob, don't you though? All right, everybody, um, hopefully I didn't miss your super chat. I tried to get them all. Uh, I might have missed a few here and there. If I did, the next time I stream, I will, because it keeps a list. So if I did, the next time I stream, I will I will read it out. I will re-listen and check through and read it out. And even if the stream comes down later on, it still keeps a record of them. So they are not lost. Uh, if I do a follow-up stream, if more information comes out, or if I do a stream next month or something, and I missed any, I, I will read them. Uh, again, thanks everybody for coming out. We'll have to we'll have to see see how it plays out. But uh, they're your suspects. Let me let me throw up their mug shots one more time. You got the furries. Reset era potential potential suspect. You got the quarry king himself, Matt Mundane, and you've got the trout father, Kraut and T. Which one of them did it? I mean, we'll never know. We'll never know until information breaks and evidence comes out but uh right now my account's back up so i can keep doing videos i'll have a new one up uh in the next couple of days probably wednesday thursday maybe friday at the latest and uh yeah there you go uh thanks guys for coming out have a good evening uh take it easy and uh, check out cyberpunk 2077 they got gameplay footage up of it and it's it's pretty fucking good i think it looks pretty good i gotta say i'm liking it all right take it easy guys